Hello, people of the internet. It's your boy, Skinny Penis, back with another video for the hot streak. And in today's part, we're going to play my favorite destroyer of all time. The best destroyer, obviously. We're going to have a look at Haaland. And at the same time, we're also trying to fight the desperate urge of repeating the same words over and over again. Because I'm essentially just mumbling out my thoughts while I'm concentrating on the game. I tend to say the same words over and over. Like, for example, especially. Uh, I don't know if people or if you guys noticed it. But if I noticed it myself, it's uh, <laughs> really bad. <laughs> Well, we're trying to not sound like a dumb retard while playing obviously the best destroyer of the entire game that's called World of Warships, King Haaland. I mean, all jokes aside, I think the destroyer is a useless piece of junk. Um, I just hate it through and through because it's just worthless. You will never see it in comp. That's basically also the. Like, I don't even want to argue why it's bad. Like, it's never going to be played in comp. It never was played in comp, so yeah. If you if you look at WMI, for example, point system, Holland was insanely cheap just because it's trash. It's it's fucking uh, atrocious. It can't do anything. Well, we can go into the detail while we're playing it. Um, we have good matchmaking actually. Uh, there's only one radar, which is super easy to outspot. We have five battleships, which is super easy to torp. Problematic though that three of them have uh, hydro, but in that regard, Holland is actually uh, better than other destroyers because the torpedoes are that fast that even if uh, a GK or a Preussen, or specifically for example a Hanover, runs Hydro, um, the moment he spots them it's sometimes already too late for them to make an evasive maneuver because the torps are so fast. Then again the torps don't do any damage, they're just dog shit. They're spammable torps that get fires but the problem with Haaland is you don't have a great speed boost like Smaland or other DDs, you're fat as fuck and slow in the water, your speed boost doesn't really help much there. And on top of that, you don't have a great gun performance uh, overall. Your gun range is super limited. Your DPM is like okay-ish, mediocre. Problem is you just take too much damage while fighting with your guns. So even if you get a lot of torp hits, that force floodings. Um, yeah, you kind of really follow up with the gun, uh, gun performance. In this game, uh, thankfully we have a carrier. Uh, sadly, it's an Akimov. Uh, an Akimov doesn't really care about AA that much. Would have been better to have like a Malta or a Midway in the enemy team, for example. Uh, sadly, we respond on the flank completely alone with a uh, Kramel uh, on my personally favorite map too. I mean, this is a great combination that we are having here. We're playing Haaland, which already makes me want to throw up. While we're playing my favorite map, which essentially brings back the breakfast from three weeks ago through my stomach and throat up onto my table and we're spawned on a flank with only a crummel because wargaming doesn't know how to spawn people epic this is epic in any case we're trying to contest uh, we're already counter contested like this island is a super nice island to go to in a dd i could have definitely hugged it the problem with me is just that i am a torpedo focused destroyer so i do not want to really sit on an island um, it would have made more sense if i'm a small island or a marceau or any sort of gunboat, uh, I can definitely use that island for my advantage. Um, since it's nice to contest from, you're essentially unkillable there. Mostly unkillable there, especially in this kind of game where there's only one radar. Uh, no real gunboat threat. So, but yeah, I, I, like, I don't have guns, so I can't really use guns from that position. Also, um, that's my issue currently with the spawns uh, that I've been dealt with by Wargaming is that I'm so alone that uh, if I start sitting behind a rock trying to uh, trying to gunboat there's maybe no spotting. Uh, thankfully our Crummel actually runs it in. I mean debatable if that's a great choice at uh, the current time against no information on our flank. Yeah I could go spotting probably is currently the better idea that I should do. Uh, I should go spotting. Oh, we actually have the Haaland opening up on us. No survivability Haaland. Wow. Epic. Epic, battle of epic battles of history. 
Alan versus Holland. Nice that my guns randomly stop fire. Uh, nice that I keep left mouse button clicked permanently, but my guns just randomly decide to stop shooting. It's uh, really epic. Um, yeah, just <laughs> many bugs, many problems with the game currently. Uh, Holland randomly opened up on me, but now tries to go dark. In any case, like a Holland versus Holland fight, I can definitely win. I'm not torping the Holland. I'm actually torping the Preussen behind him, just throwing the torpedoes out. I got their DD out of the cap uh, for now. Um, I'm trying to bring this island in between me and him, so I don't have to worry about RPF torps. Obviously, their Holland is running fucking dog shit RPF because RPF is like such a fucking strong skill in randoms, right? Um, it's so strong that I am not even playing it on any sort of DD ever in randoms. Weird, I guess. Um, yeah, Holland left cap, so I can just stay here with an island in between. I'm not being RPF torped, then I can get the cap, hopefully. Uh, two battleships thankfully decided to come over to this flank, so now I can at least get a bit more value out of me spotting and not trying to go for torpedo angles or uh, gun damage myself. And actually, I'm running a big risk now turning back in because this avenue could be torped. Uh, no, it can't really be. He's too far on the left. Um, Kramer pushed a bit too far. He should have stayed on that island or gone to this island safely. I'll untorps him. Only one set. Yeah, he hits a torp there. Oh, we got the cap though. Um, um, team. Uh, team is getting pushed on the other side, but they're kind of dealing with it. In not too bad of a manner. Um, yeah, we're just AFKing at this point. Problem here being that, as I said, like I don't have a a great. Uh, I don't have great DPM. Uh, I don't have great gun range, even though I'm playing AFT actually in this spec. I uh, even running reload mod. Uh, we can go into the specs afterwards, but I don't really have uh, a perfect. Uh, what's it called? A perfect how to spec Haaland, to be honest, because I'm not playing it, and uh, to be honest, it's also. Not the best DD to play. I can't gunboat these ships really without sitting in their uh, secondary range, but my team lost uh, a bunch of ships at the moment, so I'm trying to now at least trade a bit of my HP to get some damage in on the enemies. Um, this guy's actually dodging all my torpedoes, so that's super cool. I'm going to pre heal once since I have four heals anyway. There's a second DD here now, which is interesting. I'm going to stop shooting because that guy is shooting me from the smoke. That is uh, explaining why the mid cap is completely uncontested in a 3DD game. Because their second DD is here too and not in the middle. For some reason, the Preussen doesn't have. Uh, I, I definitely have to stop shooting here. The Schlieffen is now coming too. The Preussen secondaries is something I could tank for a bit. But the Schlieffen secondaries is something that could literally kill me in two seconds. Oh, yeah, I, I mean, they're not even accurate yet. Because they haven't had time to shoot me. And he's still. Still getting a whole bunch of damage with AI gunners. The guy stays nose in. Also, like he doesn't really like to move a lot. Maybe he's going to turn like this. I'm going to widespread them again. Um, I'm going to stay here for potential torpedo angles. I'm going to greed for a bunch of uh, permafires here because I can dip behind the island against the Schlieffen secondaries and then use the island as cover. Hopefully, I'm getting like one or two fires here. Hopefully, I get one fire here. Um, nope. Thankfully my BBs are kiting for now. Other side isn't doing too great at this point. I hope they don't get to our carrier. That would be a wee bit of a disaster in this situation. I'm going to reverse for the spots. I'm not going to open up again. Actually, I'm... now wait, that guy's outside of the cap. So it's the Haaland that has the cap points. I have a good torpedo angle here. Also, I can kind of heal the secondary damage of the Schlieffen. Um, the moment the Schlieffen is completely engaging the Preussen and they're like essentially hard lighting each other, I'm going to go uh, open up again. But yeah, I'm going to open up already because he just DCP'd and he didn't have fire prevention. I saw that. There was only one fire on him. I'm using the island to stay safe from his secondaries and I'm hoping that my gun DPM is not too atrocious so I can actually get some fires here. My RNG. Mm. 
I said like mid cap is fine, both destroyers are in C for now. Maybe I can try to cut off one DD from rotating into the middle. That would be the shimmer I think, the DD that I could cut off. But I'm not going to move forward. I have to be careful about the Goliath running it into the middle. Um, he shouldn't really be able to do that move because we still have two DBs up there, but then again I don't really trust my battleships. The likelihood of those two battleships not having Hydro currently up, neither of them is very low. But I'm still going to Torp it. I'm wide spreading. Uh, I don't like the small spread, it's uh, super hit or miss. Um, I think I would send them too far out. Guys turning in and running away. I have to run away now too. If I stay on this island and the Goliath gets into middle I have a big problem. Did he beach? I don't know if he beached. But I'm, I'm going to turn out to my right now. Uh, maybe there's a DD here actually. Keep my guns here. Um, going to turn like this and then get n uh, torpedo angles again. Obviously, the Conqueror survives, the, pro uh, the Proison dies. Oh, that Proison is going to finally eat some torpedoes. We're actually going to get torpedoes here. Definitely couldn't have achieved that with a Smarland. W. I would like the. I would really like the, uh, we're going to pop speed boost, open up again, trade more HP. Hopefully we can get some fires this time around and actually kill the Preussen. Um Oh, insta fire, really good. Uh, I hope that the Schlieffen dies to the carrier and I can gun down the Preussen. We're actually getting these two BBs out and I can fight in the cap. That Preussen got insane main gun dispersion on the front turrets. A lot of damage there that I didn't expect. Double fire, okay, we're Gucci here, I can stop shooting, he's going to burn out. Um, my Malta is dropping the Schlieffen, that is actually uh, good timing on that one, that he's not fucking the Preussen that I'm already currently in the process of killing. The guy disabled my torpedo tubes, which is a bummer. Um, but well, we're still on 10k, like we can most likely trade a uh, one of the DDs, uh, one for one at least. Um, obviously the game is looking super grim. Um, the C cab is fairly fairly atrocious for torpedo TDs to get any sort of use here I'm going to actually small spread because I think he's just gonna stay there to be honest I'm going to shoot a bit RPF'd any oh actually I'm not RPF'd anymore I'm gonna shoot a bit maybe I can get a fire he DCPs and then I get floods in with the torpedoes um I got barely anything there I'm going to try uh, and go back onto the 10 line the Preussen didn't die to the fires, so he's running some sort of super hard, uh... Oh shit. Thankfully I decided to not keep shooting. I'm going to open up again, I feel pretty safe now being in Kite. My Conqueror actually got an 8k hit here, which is super big. The guy looks full HP, but you have to mind he doesn't play survivability expert, so he doesn't have that much more HP than I do. Uh, yeah, and also opening up now greatly allows me, or like really allows me to maybe try and kill him without getting traded. Hmm. We'll probably play it super safe and not go straight for him. Like, wait if he makes another mistake. Because the Goliath is just sitting full. Ah, they got to the carrier. They allowed the gear. The carrier himself allowed the gearing to creep up on him, and like, that's on him. That's definitely on him. Mm, I guess this guy is running it out front, so I'm going to torp this. No, he's not, so I'm going to torp this too. I'm trying to cut the Haaland off from my battleship. Wow, now you're killing him, huh, carrier? A wee bit too late. We needed that CV to stay alive to win the game. I don't think there's any way of winning it at this point. So, um... Since we're pretty much AFKing here, uh, with our last here ready, and we can talk a bit about why Haaland, in my opinion, is dog shit. We already mentioned it's uh, super fat, high in the water. It doesn't get a improved speed boost like Smaland, so your speed boost just some eight percent piss, which still doesn't make uh, still doesn't make you fast at all. Um, you have mediocre gun damage. Um, it's actually not that bad, the problem is just you don't have a smoke from which you could farm, you also don't really have AFT gun range and the maneuverability, we already talked about that. 
So the problem here is that if you try to use your half decent guns, you're just gonna get your head kicked in if you don't uh, plan it out well, like kind of I did when I went behind the island and could shoot a bit, um, or the enemy team is just like straight up bad. Um, and on top of that, the torpedoes, in my opinion, are just spamming, st like you're just spamming torpedoes and randoms against bad players, uh, which doesn't make it a great torpedo boat. Like that alone doesn't make it a, a viable torpedo option, because in my opinion, and also what you see in comp, and uh, also what the torpedo boat should be about, is um, great torpedo alpha. So you get, because torpedoes are a situational uh, armament, you want the correct alpha at the correct times to then one-shot people. It's essentially something like a Yamagiri or a Shema are perfect. Even some Mirzu gearing are better. And on top of that, since you're a torpedo boat and you're not gun focused, or supposedly not gun focused, you want a great means of mitigating spotting on you uh, or incoming fire, which essentially... There, there we go again, essentially. Uh, which means that you want the smoke to disengage very helpful on torpedo destroyers because you can't really be run down like a dog in the streets and on top of that you also um, want better concealment than other destroyers um, you want to have like 5.6 like a shimmer uh, or 5.6 like a leggy gearing or even 5.9 like a normal gearing but Haaland gets 6 straight while being slow and fat so it's very easy for destroyers to fuck, fuck around with you and you can't really do anything about that um, also, in the time I wasted now with my Haaland uh, on a on an actual gunboat, I could have... Is he beaching? I could be beaching. Um, on an actual gunboat, like a Smaland or, or something, especially like Smaland as a direct competitor, I could have popped lots of speed boosts and even though I had low HP, I could have, could have made great, great use out of the speed boost to not get hit while pumping out a lot of DPM with my guns, because small and obviously a way higher DPM. Um, damn it, guy beached. I don't think he reverses fast enough, but I have to send them now, otherwise uh, game's over. Going to sh uh, Okay, that guy's out of range, I'm gonna hit him. The Haaland somehow sneaked past me. I mean, obviously I'm not running RPF since I think it's shit. Uh, yeah, the Goliath isn't reversing fast enough. I think he also has Hydra running, most likely, so... Whatever. This was the GG's. I don't know why my Haaland sits into uh, sits in our base now. Essentially wanking his thong off. Um, I have 140k somehow. Most likely due to my gun spec, actually. Which just shows that... Torpedoes are super situational and are not a great armament at all. To be honest, I also got caught off by the two destroyers instead of one. I only thought it was the Haaland. And there were suddenly two. And we lose the game. Well, yeah, man. Real bummer that the heavy flank that we had uh, wasn't even able to kill all the people while kiting and keeping also our carry alive. Um, essentially just giving them free kills while not keeping the flank intact. And I got an, a suicide in Kramo that pushed in for no reason on a two-man flank instead of just playing it super passive and opportunistic like Kana I did. Um, well, we ended up a second. Carrier didn't go for us. I think the carrier may have even been AFK. And yeah, we got the cap, we got a bunch of torpedo hits, like three. Um, even if we get ten, still wouldn't change the outcome of the game because the torpedo alpha is so anemic. The only battleships you really do damage to are German ones and you can deal half decent damage to cruisers. Problem is just that most cruisers have either running or fuck you up with radar when you try to torp them. Um, so we're looking at Moritz, uh, Moritz Smelt and his spec. Uh, my spec. Um, I don't know really what kind of advice to give here. Uh, my general advice would be not to play Haaland at all, because it's trash, obviously. Um, I personally would go uh, a bit gun-focused. Um, as I said, because of your torpedoes, you kind of want to be able to open up more easily for fires. Um, if you have trouble getting run down by DDs, you should probably go for Fearless Brawl. 
uh, so you're super like better protected, not super protected, but you're more protected against DDs running at you. Other than that, you can also, I mean, for for a very chill and relaxed and comfortable build, you should go uh, torpedo reload on the captain. Um, yeah, yeah, I mean, you can only get torpedo torpedo reload, and then you have like maybe if you drop turret troopers, you can go for swift. Swift fish gives you a bit more torpedo speed. Uh, I don't know. The rest is like whatever. Um, Halan is super point starved, like most destroyers that are torpedo and gun focused. Um, at the same time, like some sort of hybrid. Um, for the modules, uh, I personally am running the aiming systems, just because I want more of my shells to hit. Uh, since yeah, I kind of like your DPM is okay-ish, but most DDs are still gonna shit on you if you're completely torpedo spec'd. Um, propulsion uh, consumer is obvious. I go main gun reload. Um, I mean range mode is troll just because you can spec it through the captain. Double range is like super troll. You have more range than Smaland while having less DPM. Doesn't make sense. Uh, I don't know if you hate carriers. I guess you could go super A spec, which would also mean your gun spec on the captain though. Um, I'm personally personally not running torpedo tubes um, because. The 50% incapacit risk of incapacitation is just too much for me, which means I like to open up, I like to use my guns, otherwise I feel completely useless, and you're also most likely completely useless. Like, you're putting a lot of faith into your team, just staying dark and spotting and torping in a destroyer, uh, if you're never going to use your guns. Um, I said that th this kind of playstyle mostly only works on destroyers that have a smoke and great concealment like Shema or Gearing or Summers um, and are also way faster and more nimble. Uh, in those destroyers you you can go for that module because you're really not wanting to be spotted and you don't have to be spotted because you're just searching for an opportunity to get one tour volley in that gives you like 80 or 90k and turns the game completely sometimes like one shotting a cruiser, one shotting a battleship um, early mid game or something can change a whole lot. Um, next thing would also be if you send torps in a shimmer or a gearing, you're definitely going to hit destroyers super hard if if you catch them. Unfortunately, in Haaland it's like most destroyers can eat like four torps. Um, stuff like Ragnar, Marceau, Kleber, uh, even Smaland with a heal. Like he, you can sometimes tank four Haaland torps and now try to hit four Haaland Torps in the first place on the DD. I mean, you're lucky if you hit one or two, uh, to be honest, if it's a competent player, half-decent player. Well, so because I kind of want to make use of the guns on Haaland, um, since, like, there's not a whole lot of torpedo damage, um, and I want to abuse the floodings if I get them, uh, I'm not running the torpedo reload mod, obviously, because eh? if I am spotted and I'm fat and I'm slow and I'm dead in the water, I get shot at, and currently lots of HE breaks your torpedo tubes awfully fast, even without running the module. Um, running the module essentially means, like, if you have a Conqueror, Thunderer, Vincent, for example, shooting you and getting a good hit in, it might just remove both of your torp tubes instantaneously, like, no questions asked. In any case, next game we have an Audacious. That's actually a great carrier for us. Uh, we like to see that. Uh, He's subject to eating a lot of flak if he tries to go for us. Then again, most carriers avoid Dalarna and Haaland completely nowadays because they know. Um, other than that, we again have uh, two torpedo destroyers against us and one actual gun focus DD. Uh, but we're also running into double Vincent Vermont, which is better this time around because none of them have Hydro. Also, uh, Haaland versus Vincent, any Turp DD versus Vincent is pretty, pretty nice because uh, Vincent doesn't really like to eat torpedoes, it griefs the super heal, it doesn't have a great uh, torpedo belt, neither does it have... Uh, neither does it really have uh, a large HP pool, so you can have a whole lot of impact against stuff like Vincent and torpedo destroyers. I think I spread them, yeah, it's, it's just, I mean, he's speed boosting, I fucked the torpedoes already. Just goes to show that I just don't play Haaland or great deal. I'm even misleading the torps like this completely. With a shimmer or gearing I would have known, but not in the ship. I thought they were fast enough. Maybe they are. Let's see. I mean he's trying to be greedy and shoot all his turrets towards the middle, so he's staying flat broadside to these torpedoes. Huh. I mean if I hit like 
5 or 6. He's definitely crippled for eternity. I hit 4. Okay, well, 30k. Real great. Epic damage. I mean, it helps out. Especially, as I said, against the Vincent. It's also uh, perma flooding because people got fires on him. He's on a double perma. No, he's on a on one fire now in a flood. I mean, he's out healing that damage. But as you can see, he's like limited in what kind of damage he can heal now just because I'm. I'm griefing him with the torpedo hits and th that being citadel damage. Um, we have a 3DD carrier submarine game here. With one, like, if on this map on Haven, it's super important that your DD, for example, like I that I spawned on the flank, I am going into the flank. Um, I have to be here um, for us to play this side. The thing is also my other DD or my submarine or whatever the fuck, that guy who comes from middle is supposed to maybe cap contest. I mean, in this scenario he can obviously super easily cap contest because there is no radars, no gunboat. What the fuck is going on? Why is he here? I mean, he even had RPF and he didn't even know I'm here. Like, what the fuck's going on, dude? I swear to god. These people. Why the fuck are you taking a four point skill on your torpedo shit destroyer just to not even know that I'm up your ass, even though your RPF clearly indicates that I'm up your ass? Well, that's fucking epic, huh? You're a really wee bit dumb dumb, eh? In any case, he just torpedoed me. Whatever, I guess. I'm going to torp the Vincent again because I'm a cunt. Um, I'm going to play it a bit passive turn out now because the gearing definitely sent torps here. That's why he turned. And the Minotaur could uh, switch his focus. 11k, that's uh, definitely close enough to fuck me up in a Haaland. I can only repeat it again and again. I am fat. I am very slow and my speed boost is worthless. So that guy can get 6-7k hits very fast and repeatedly. Yeah, but as you can see, I play the flank. I keep their Torp DDs in check on the flank. I get good torpedo angles towards their battleships and cruisers if they if they essentially try to play the flank like normal people would, like our team and their team, like these areas are being played. And the corner has to be occupied by a DD from your flank. Um, your team, your team, not your flank, because otherwise you are always running the risk that the enemy has a DD there that can torp and perma spot, which would be hilariously bad for you. That guy is turning back into one torpedo, I think. Not that it really matters. I was gonna kill him, and they're running out. Ah, oh, that's a bummer. That's a real bummer. I'm. Kind of thinking about greeting here to open up against the minnow. I think I am. Whatever. I have full HP. I'm full HP. I have heals ready. Enemy team already ignored me. The guy just super healed, so maybe we can kill him. We can't kill him. I mean, I'm not doing damage. Also, I don't have radar like a small one that could radar him out now. I got a fire there. Um, could he die? That would be great if he dies. Now he's switching focus. He's gonna get like one shot or so. Not even that. He's gonna most likely turn out like an idiot again. I'm getting my head kicked in here if the Vincent hits. Nah, he missed because I slowed down. Okay, what well, I'm getting fired from the fire. He's not turning out, he's actually turning in. That is remarkable gameplay. I have to accelerate again to maybe speed tuke the Zhao. Super risky for me. Can only repeat it over and over again. I am fat and easy to hit and slow. I'm not even doing 30 knots while turning, kind of. It's bad. It's really bad. Interesting that the Vincent can heal 43k max HP back. That is... That is fucking crazy. The gearing fucked off completely, so that Vincent is essentially subject to mu- oh. Um, the Vincent is essentially subject to me griefing him. Perma. With torpedoes. Just goes to show, uh, if your DD doesn't have a brain, uh, and leaves the flank. Uh, a whole lot of ships are in trouble. Yeah, well, I'm kind of lost for words as to what to say about Vincent. Ah, uh, no, Vincent. I could say a lot about Vincent, but I don't really know what to say about this piece of junk. Having having no smoke is the worst part about this. I think if you nerf the torpedo reel by like 20 seconds and give it a smoke it could actually be a decent destroyer. Uh, but at this point it's just bad. 
Um, I understand though why people think it's good, and I also understand why people like to play it. It's a super comfortable uh, DD to play. You don't really have to care about. Uh, you don't really have to care about CVs because of your great AA. Um, you also don't really have to care about being super close to the enemy because you do have 15 km torps. Then your torp reload is also super fast, which means uh, you have to do like you can do something all the time. It's it's not that like it doesn't require that much patience and intelligence like a Shema or a Yamagiri where you really have to plan your moves, but if you do it correctly you're murdering the enemy team with one torp set. Uh, one set of threes. You can like one shot people. Hilariously easy. Um It has a heal, so even if you fuck up you can kinda come back to life in this ship. It's just overall comfy to play, I guess, for people. And that's the reason they do play it. My torpedo hits in the beginning didn't do jack shit to the Vincent. If I mayhaps had a... I'm just gonna run it in, by the way, and die. Um, if I may had a... A... Oh, okay. It's out torpedoes, I think. Um, if I had a Shimmer there, could have definitely killed that Vincent. With the twerps there. They would have hit later, but they would have fucked him hard. I would have only needed two. Uh, I would have only needed three torp hits out of fifteen instead of ten, and he would have popped immediately, just dead, dead in the water. Yeah, can't touch the cap anymore because there's still two destroyers around here, spotting me, potentially spotting me, and there's two Zaos running it in. I have no clue how this gameplay is even allowed. That's criminal. Maybe just. I hate this game. I didn't look for that. I hate this. This is cancer. Fuck. Okay, that's just me being stupid. I thought he tries to angle in here, go like here. Um, well, yeah, I just feel unable to do anything. If I open up, the Zaos are gonna Giga Grief me. Pff, I'm not even going to do a whole lot against the gearing there. I don't know why I'm shooting him, I don't pen him. I'm maybe going to shoot this Zao there, get some damage. My gun damage is like Giga Mediocre. Can't even spec out of concealment on this ship really, like on Smalan, because you don't have the radar and the better speed boost. So if I don't play concealment, I have no means of spotting enemy destroyers that are spotting me. Um, I'm going to pre-heal here. We're on 840 points. It's just suffering, it's just suffering, it's just suffering. This is most likely the only two Haaland games I'm going to play for the entirety of uh, 2023, because I am getting a set. And uh, triggered, and the breakfast of three weeks ago is coming back. Submarine is pinging me now too. Now we're getting into really epic gameplay territory. Yeah, man, I understand, submarine. You really want to like suck my cock and shit, because there's some white juice coming out of it. You know, like he really likes that. My team is dying hyper fast, and there's nothing I could do about it. Any gunboat destroyer, I can just run at the. I can just run at the gearing and kill him, or just open water these people because I can dodge their shells. I mean, the Vincent has very slow shells. Uh, in this piece of junk, I can't do fucking anything. It's just incredibly dog shit. Uh, it doesn't matter how good you were, it wouldn't have mattered if you have a torpedo spec or if you have a. I mean, it would have mattered a bit maybe if you think a wee bit harder about how to torp the Zao and if you would have actually looked at the Zao, you could have maybe killed him. Um, that was just on me. The rest is essentially like. Well, I mean, if I use the small torpedo spread uh, on the Vincent, I essentially go coin flip mode. Um, like, decent odds of hitting everything and one-shotting him, but also, like, a big chunk of remaining odds that everything misses just because he does one move. Um, did they have two? No, they didn't have two gearings. Um, yeah, well, I really don't know what to tell you. You're... I mean, you're even too slow to really rotate in and out of things. Like, uh... Dude... I don't know, man. I'm lost for words. I don't know what to say about that ship. It baffles me that people actually think it's strong. I get it why it's comfy and people play it. But, uh... I don't know. 
I could try a torpedo build on it. I tried it. I played many torpedo Haaland games, but I just think I'm turbo AFK. Um, yeah. Uh, just to summarize it, um, the ship can have great impact. It's mostly down to the enemy team not working well together or having a complete set of wrong ships to counter Haaland. It's most likely um, enemy team not playing well together and having super stupid destroyers or cruisers uh, that can't deal with you. Um, the problem is your your margins of error are very slim. Like you can't step uh, out of a like nearly perfect play for once because you might just get one shot by a gunboat destroyer or radar because you don't really have the ability to dodge that much damage. Um, so yeah, I mean, abusing bad play in randoms uh, doesn't make a ship great. Uh, a ship is essentially only like a real carry if it can deal with most situations uh, and fuck multiple types of ships or be objectively viable in many scenarios. That's just not the case for me in Haaland. It depends way too much on your team and the enemy team being stupid as I mentioned. So yeah. Summarizing argument, no way, like conclusion of the video. Sell the ship, never grind it. I guess only research if, if you want to buy Darlana afterwards and fuck with carriers because of the f like because it's super fun because Darlana A is like hilarious. Other than that, that's that's it for me. I'm out. I'm probably going to sell the ship anyways. See you guys.